Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sharing with you a kitchen project that we recently did. So the main issue with this kitchen that my client had was storage. It came with the regular laminated brown cabinets, but there wasn't much storage inside. It also had like um, the yellow paint on the walls. Another issue was the counter space, which was like the main issue because the microwave was sitting on the counter, but the counter space is really small. We have about two square meters of counter space, like for the whole kitchen. We also didn't have enough space to put the refrigerator because she has a considerably large refrigerator. Also this kitchen and the laundry area are in the same space. So those were the main issues that she had. So I'm just going to take you through on how we solved those issues. We had to do a bit of innovation here and there. We had to think a little bit out of the box just to solve those issues and still uh, make the space very functional without going over the budget. So for the microwave, initially it was sitting on the countertop. We have just two sections of countertops and this is the other, this is the left side. So the microwave was literally occupying the whole of it. Uh, we decided to add a shelf just to lift it up because she still had other appliances like um, toaster, coffee maker. Now we have the coffee maker and the toaster sitting under the shelf that holds the microwave and there's still some space where you can do your meal preps or like just um, have like your chopping board and all that. Uh, for the cabinets, we decided to change them over and we settled with the black because the kitchen is already we had a white backsplash which we could not change and of course we were changing the paint color to a brilliant white so everything is gonna be white and we decided to go with black cabinets just to create that contrast from the all white uh, kitchen for the fridge we decided to move it into the pantry lucky enough the pantry was big and um, we decided to move the fridge into the pantry so if you have storage challenges you just have to think of what works even though the pantry is not made for the fridge but it works for this space so the fridge is inside the pantry also on this side of the counter this is where the dish drainer should go if you notice this thing does not have a dish drainer so initially they just had the dish drainer on this side and there was a problem of just water draining and flowing into the into the cabinets which actually caused damage to the previous cabinets that they had so to solve this issue because we could not get another sink with a drainer that would mean it eats up all the little counter space that we had left we decided to mount the drainer into the cabinet so we just got rid of one of the shelves and then mounted the dish drainer onto the cabinet we had to make this uh, custom made brackets just to have it hanging up and the cool thing about this is once you do your dishes you're done you don't have to come back and wipe them to put them away because your dishes are already kept away so once they're dry you just need to come back and reuse them because the water drains right into the sink the drainer is right above the sink we had to position it um, in that way so that if there's any water that is draining it's gonna be draining into the sink so that's how we solve the drainer issue also the laundry area that was in the same space with the kitchen we just had to get a screen to divide the two spaces without blocking out the light that is coming from the window because the window is on the laundry side and that's the only window that brings light into the kitchen so we were also considering the light aspect so we decided to get this that we separate the two spaces but we still let in the light from the window so thank you for watching i will see